Hi everybody, this is Trey Martin. I am now going to be showing you guys the virtual terminal side of the Anywhere Commerce. Uh, really cool, as I showed you earlier, there is the phone side, and now we're going to be showing you the virtual side. You can also use this on your phone, on a tablet, literally anything that can connect to the internet, feel free to use it. So, first thing we're going to do, as you can see here, it says Merchant ID, Username and Password. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to send you an email that's also going to send you the uh, URL address so it's easy for you to get to this page, and then it'll also have all of your login information. So I made one for us here at Smart Choice, and I'm going to go ahead and log us in. 4995, the merchant ID is always going to be about four digits. My username for this is Smart Choice Payments. And then my password, so we can go ahead and be careful, this is very case sensitive. Make sure you don't have any space bars or anything afterwards, or else it will give you a little bit of sass. I apologize about that, but that is just the way it's created. And now we're going to go ahead and log in. Okay, it's going to load up. And then from here, you can always go ahead and just click save and um, log out dashboard. Now, as you can see here, this is going to show you um, how you've been doing the transaction wise. Uh, show you any recent transactions you've done, anything like that. This is kind of just an overall view of what's going on. And then if you go ahead and click here, what we're going to focus on today is the virtual terminal. So um, this would be like, let's say you're getting a phone call, someone's trying to make a sale over the phone, whatever it may be. You can go ahead and just hit sale here. And then this will bring up this page. Um, order ID number, with the virtual terminal, you are going to have to do at least a three digit order ID number for everyone. So you, I've heard of people, you know, tagging into which batch it is, whatever it may be. Um, for this one, we're just going to do one, one, one. Keep it simple. Um, the amount, uh, I usually like using penny transactions, but for this one, it has to be a dollar or less. I mean, I hope, you know, usually you're making sales above a dollar, but that's just how this works. And then you go ahead. I'm going to put in test transaction because this is obviously not going to really happen. Um, Visa, as you can see, there's a drop down giving you all the choices you would need. And so um, we're just going to put Visa for now. You would put in your card number, whatever that may be. We're just going to do a bunch of fives for now. Maybe an um, CVV, etc. And then what you do is once you put in all the information, you would go ahead and hit perform sale. I actually can't do this right now. This account isn't attached to any kind of bank or anything. There's no money uh, for the money to go. So um, you hit that and then it would print out a receipt and then it would give you the choice to either print that receipt or you could send it to get email. So that is the GIF of how you would go ahead and run a sale. And now we're going to go ahead and show you just about how to do a refund. So let's go ahead and click on this. Order ID number, like I was saying earlier, they require you to order ID number on this. So we'd hit 1111. Um, and then we would hit the unique reference, like I said, test transaction on the last one. You can go ahead and do that. You don't have to do that. It would accept that. Um, usually, once you typed in that 1111, it would instantly pull up the transaction. It would have it on file. You'd be able to choose refund, and you would be able to get them back. So, other than that, um, there's a lot of things here. Contact support, you can reach that. It should shoot me an email. Uh, Trey here at Smart Choice Payments. Users, terminals, none of this you really need to worry yourself with uh, very much. I would rather just, um, you can stick mainly to the dashboard and virtual terminal side. But if you do have any questions with any of this, both payments, reporting, setting, any of that, please give us a call here at Smart Choice Payments and I would love to walk you through how that all works. But this is the Anywhere Commerce virtual terminal and it is the flip-flop side of the app for Anywhere Commerce. So there you go.